everybody, it's Brandon with Car Fleet here. Today's video, we're gonna be doing some stuff here on the shop that needs to get done on the ram. First thing we're gonna be doing is welding on our shackle mounts to the bumper. Gonna be going on each side of the front bumper. We're just gonna be grinding off the paint. I got uh, just flat black to replace it with for now because I need to get some bed liner for all of the armor. But as you guys can see here, we are just gonna be going like that right in the middle of the biggest support which would be right in front of the frame there and that would is going to give us the most beefiest pull spot and we'll get some shackles in there after so i'm just going to do some measurements i want these to be center and then we'll scuff up the paint here get all the paint out of the way down to the metal and slap them on it should be pretty quick hopefully my welds are strong but they have been so far sliders are staying on so i think my welds are decent make sure you guys check out the wheeling video too that one was nuts the tank trap one uh, the sliders did hit the ground a few times and they stuck. So that's good. Fenders, I believe, hit the dirt at one point. It's still stuck, so nice. Yeah, let's get to it, guys. Alrighty, guys, so we got one on. Fully welded. I can boot it, stand on it, whatever. Fully beaded. Looks really good. I got it sanded down to the, the metal. Sanded down these as well, just to make sure we got a good connection. So dead center of this piece, both ways. And we're going to do the other side. I think it makes it look a lot better because it's not as flat now like for it's just so flat but with this big shackle it looks pretty cool so we're gonna do the other side guys <laughs> guys look at my cap right now i look like a goof but basically if you guys want to do these local guy facebook marketplace 10 bucks each i think 20 bucks for the pair really good quality really thick metal won't go anywhere uh that's what i'd recommend uh just local metal guys like not even like shops, just like random guys. They'll have good deals. So I would check Marketplace if you guys want to do this. Super simple. If you have a welder, borrow a MIG for sure over Flux on this one. Because MIG's really strong when it comes to stuff you need. Because if this thing breaks off, it's going through someone's window. So let's hope that doesn't happen. They are on completely. They look awesome. I can stand on them, pull them, tug them. I'll do a pull test again later. But we've had this on for two days now. Shackles jigging around on there. So I bought two red ones, which would be really nice. It'll look really good on here. Cause we got like the whites, the primary, blacks, the secondary. And then we got like the third, which is like the trim. So there's a lot of little red accents, like the YouTube, the Hemi badge, the YouTube. There's some red everywhere. So having some more red will look good, I think. Also guys, I found a steal of a deal. Crazy deal on some fenders, guys. Um, for the Ram here, three fenders for 120. One's got a few dents, but they're getting chopped anyways, right? So it works out perfectly. So here we have them, guys. They came today. We got these shackles, with some washers and stuff. I'm really happy with them so far. And we'll see how they look on the rig. Let's throw them on, guys. Super easy install. Looks so good, guys. I'm super happy with the red. Knew it would go good with the, the little red accents we got kind of everywhere. Looks too clean right now. They definitely aren't the right size for the hole. See lots of movement there, but you just saw some electrical tape. It's also pretty tight with these spacers they give you. So I like that. But uh, I might throw some electrical tape on this the pin part. That way it doesn't have the metal on metal tinging noise. But that's a quick DIY. So here we have them. We got three for 120 bones. Um, this one's pretty nice. All these dents and stuff are in the perfect spot. They're all gonna get cut out for the passenger side. Take the badge off too. We got some nice badges. That's a mint badge. Eh? This one, seen some damage. Only thing I'm worried about is that dent because we are gonna need that spot. Uh, but that can be popped out by the looks of it. We got three fenders. We should be able to do the trick. They're all gonna get chopped. We'll have a backup here, hopefully. Perfect for what we need them for. All right guys, so we got it on actually. It fits, it's just a little bent because of the bar, but it's actually bolted up there. So you can see the armor. We want to go above the armor. I actually do want the armor to show. I think it looks pretty cool. So we're going to cut from where it lines up here. We're going to come up nice and high to clear the armor, and then we're going to follow the armor down. I'm going to start cutting at this point, and I'm just going to follow this, this fender, the underside of it. I want to definitely take off less than too much. All right, guys, so I got it cut to about what we need now where it's not finished um we're gonna be finishing that lip up nicer pop a few dents out the sh whole shebang you know okay, so what i did was i went and picked up hole cutter we are going to be cutting like a half hole it's gonna be kind of tough because once the when you can't use your pilot hole it's gonna be tough but we have it right where we want it we just got to get it lower you guys can see it's it's butted up right now on the metal 
So do like a half circle. I'd like with everything I'm doing right now, I'd rather take off less than more. But guys, you guys get the general gist of the idea? It looks so much better. So much better. This is what I should have done in the first place. But it just completes the look. And that's what we were missing this whole time. Bam. There it is. Look at the line we got. We got that smooth transition now from headlight. See, this before was up here. So now it's nice and smooth. We got it circles cut around the supports. See, this one I kind of messed up. I mean, I've never done this before. I don't think anybody has. <laughs> but uh, I could have just left it straight. But when I mocked it up originally, it would needed to be cut. And then I shifted everything kind of back. The fitment was really confusing, guys, because there's dents and everything along here. So when I was doing it, my door wouldn't open. You see just how close it is right now. We're definitely gonna have to uh, pry it out even a little bit more just so we're safe. I'll probably just give these, I might just give it a coat of black. I don't know, like what's the point? Silver or whatever that is, it doesn't go with anything. So let me know what you guys think. I think it looks unreal. A lot better than the square fenders. We got like a completed look. It's took a lot of work guys. A few, a few hours of just fabricating. Not fabricating, just using the grinder. I'll show you guys just what happened under the hood here because I actually cut around these. If you have a ram, you know these go under, like this would go under that on both. I had to cut around because I had to, I have to tuck my fender in here first and then it pops over, but there's no way to tuck it under when it's this close. Check out this badge for the meantime. <laughs> threw the badge on just so people know it's a Hemi so they don't think I'm an idiot. So we got four coats of semi-gloss on it. I'm liking it. Obviously not a perfect paint job, but it looks really good actually. Yeah, not bad at all. A little dent, but that's just character, you know? But for now, let's get it on. I'm super curious to see how it looks black. <laughs> Hey everybody, really quick before I show you the fender, I'll paint it up. I have a goal of hitting 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you guys want to be part of that and you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate that. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Let's check out those fenders. Boys and girls, there it is. Complete the black semi-gloss. It'll probably get faded a little bit, I'd imagine from just daily use. But that is clean. That is the vision, baby, coming to life. So you can see we got the arch, we got the front shaped into the, almost looks like it's going into the bar here. This we probably won't do on the other side. I made a mistake, but you live, you learn. Still doesn't look that bad because there's that bar there. We'll get started on it, guys. Um, we'll pop, pop this guy out. And then we'll start mocking it up and doing a bunch of different mock-ups, bunch of different cuts, trying to make this fit. Should be the same as the other side. I'm not sure how identical these are, so it might be a little different in terms of placement. It should be around the same. <laughs> there we have it, guys. This side is done. I was wondering why the fitment was so bad. And it's because my freaking headlight just snapped. So I need a new headlight. Sorry. There's no, there's only one bolt holding it on. It might fall out. <laughs> my headlight on the freaking road. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta go to work in like a half hour though. So this is not ideal. Now, would you look at that? That is a beautiful masterpiece. Headlight's broken. We got some new ones. Thanks to my buddy Dalton. Look at these fenders, guys. Unreal. I love it. So much better. I'm so happy. I finally got it done. They look really good, guys. You can see it's the tight fit and they make a wheel arch, but I, I love the black. I think I'm gonna keep it black. I know I said I might go white, but I think black's the way to go. It looks really cool, really aggressive. So there it is, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Thank you for watching as always. I love doing this uh, custom stuff to my Ram, really making it one of a kind, making it my own. And if you guys wanna follow that and follow the build, there'll be way more to come on the Ram. Lots of off-road goodies. And the Bronco, I haven't given you guys a Bronco update in a long time, but it's in the works right now. We're doing lots to it. And the video is going to be crazy because it's going to change a lot since you guys have seen it. So thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.